a lot and lot of drama regarding ReZero, Crunchyroll. I know that they have gone back and quote unquote fixed their subtitles, but like, you know that like most people are not gonna go back and rewatch the full episode to get a re like experience using the new subtitles. Like Crunchyroll, sure, I'll give credit where it's due. Where it's like, nice, you fixed your subs, but what the fuck are we like complimenting them for? You created a problem, then you fixed your own fucking solution. This is like Natsuki Subaru back in season two, sorry, season one, arc two, when he fucking breaks a Voss, then Rem is staring at Nat Subaru, and Subaru's like, haha, oh, sell me, I'll get another Voss in a different drawer, and then he brings it back, and he says, wow, look at this, I'm so productive, but it's like, bro, you created the fucking problem, what are you, what are you proud of? Anyways, we have a Twitter thread here from Mr. Jireku, Jirek, I don't know how to say his name, but it says, Reezer season three premiere actually had a quite few translation errors on Crunchyroll, so I wanted to make a thread compiling them. Might update as needed. And he's going to give us all of the breakdowns on what the accurate translations are. All right. The most biggest one is this one. Yeah. Obviously, the biggest one is Subaru having a completely different outburst. If you're reading this, you probably saw it. So I'll skip past it. I will uh, go into this one. Let's go. This one is... So it doesn't matter how many times I have to suffer then, right? This is the dialogue that was said when we were doing the whole Astrea family drama. Heinkel's talking shit. Felt and Reinhardt's kind of getting cooked. And Subaru says this shit and the audience is going to think, ah, well, now it sounds like Subaru is selfish. No, 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 no. It was actually not that, right? I want to note that there is a big sub mistranslation that ruins a bit of the scene. Subaru is not snapping for himself. His line here is more like, so then it's okay for you to trample all over people's heart like that. It's just crazy how Crunchyroll, like, you, you are distributing this fucking anime and you fuck up one of the most important lines for characterization for Super. Like, how could you just do this? It's insane, the incompetence and the negligence that's happening over there. But that's what happens when you have a monopoly over a fucking product or a service and there's no need to offer a better solution. They get lazy. They pump out bullshit like this. Bro, I bet that if we took the fucking French subs that was leaked and just pasted that shit into ChatGPT, we would have gotten more accurate subs, right? Next. When Subaru and Julius talks about the Austria family, what they're saying is that the head rebelling against the kingdom would mark his entire clan as tre uh, treasonous, including Reinhardt and Wilhelm. It's the kingdom that, uh, uh, that would regard the Source Saint family as an enemy. So let's look at these, right? Let's look at these. So if Heinkel decided to go up against the kingdom, the Master Swordsman's household would regard him as an enemy. No, 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 no. The kingdom, right? It's not the Von Astra family. No, 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 no. It's the kingdom that would see Von Austria as an enemy. That's what's going on here during the talk against Julius, right? It's what if Heinkel was treated inhospitably and became rebellious as a result. Basically, the kingdom treats him well with the rank like vice captain by title only, even though he's supposedly just a piece of shit because they don't want to make an enemy out of the Sword Saint's household. The subs are inc incredibly vague and off. Let's look at this. Let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. What would come of one who treated him inhospitably and became rebellious towards the kingdom? So when I was when I was like watching this, to me it felt like Julius was trying to tell us and warning us that like we shouldn't start shit against Heinkel because Heinkel has so much clout in the Austria family and has the support of the kingdom and that would look bad on us. And in case that Heinkel eventually does reach like a higher status, then it looks bad that we started shit. But this is kind of what the difference is right now. When Julius says, it makes my ears hurt, the subs translate the JP expression, moon runes, literally word for word, which makes no sense in English. Because again, they're not fucking, they don't have someone that understands Japanese translating this shit. They're probably just pasting this shit in like ChatGPT or some Google Translate, right? Don't worry, our Yuli's ears are not hurting. And there's no such idiom in English. He's saying more like, that's painfully true. Just so fucking cringe. The minor one, this is a minor because Biko's in there. But here's, obviously, Subaru isn't asking if Beatrice is the one who knew about his seasickness. He's joking, accusing Anastasia and co. The line is subjectless, so, subjectless, so I get why the subtitler had to hazard a guess, 
but it's really not hard to see from the context because the person who is doing the subtitle cannot see the context because this is not a ReZero enjoyer or an anime watcher. Just fucking, just a dude just collecting a fucking paycheck. Over here, we talked about life together, didn't we? Subaru talks to Rachins. It says here, no, Subaru and Rachins didn't talk about life together. The subtitles misunderstood the moon runes here, specifically more moon runes. As a verbal exchange, Subaru is really saying something more like, we dance with death together, referencing arc one. Yeah, and Rachins accidentally killed Subaru back then. People said to put timestamps and links for recording to CR, so in order. And this is basically the compilations of, you know, sending, you know, support to Crunchyroll. And they have fixed their subs, apparently. Others have pointed out this, so I'm adding. So over here, we have Priscilla, Al, and Subaru saying, You could have worked on sounding a little more influential over the past year. This line reads very awkwardly. Once again, the French subs are more accurate. Classic. And what he's saying here is in the realm of, you could have worked on taming her a little over the last year. He's like, Subaru is telling Al to tame, like, Priscilla, right? You could have worked on taming her a little over the last year. If this is a dialogue from Subaru to Priscilla's party, then it sounds like this is Subaru telling Al, come on, bro, she is so still hostile, I'm not really sure. Update! Crunchyroll has officially fixed everything listed on this thread within 48 hours of airing. Well done, everyone, and thank you for giving us the visibility to this issue. Be sure to watch it legally from their website, as any torrent will still likely have errors. True, but at the same time, again, like, it is nice. It, it's, it's nice. Proof space. Isn't this a guy that's fucking my patron? Anyways. This guy, um, uh, sorry. What I'm trying to say is, it's nice that Crunchyroll would, like, go back and fix their errors. But at the same time, like, this should have never happened. I don't like it when, like, they make a mistake, they fix their mistake, and people are like, Oh my god, Crunchyroll goaded! And that's not what this guy is saying. But it's just like, what the fuck are we complimenting this company for? This should have never happened. Crunchyroll just continuously takes L after L after L. And you can clearly see the people translating this shit has no passion for ReZero or the anime that they're doing. Why do the French leaks have better subs? Because those pirates actually give a fuck about this show. They're more engaged and it understands contextual differences, right? But like, the fucking paid person doing this shit doesn't give a fuck. It's just a dude collecting paychecks. So this is the shitty service you're gonna get. And this is what happens when you do not have competition in a fucking free market, bro. You have one person providing everything. Everything is going through them. Why would they even bother offering a better service when there's nobody to compete with? This just sucks in capitalism. It's really sad, not reflection says. I've already some seen reactors point out Subaru outburst and complain that he's being selfish. I hope I didn't say that. I don't know exactly what I said. Maybe I mentioned, huh, kind of selfish. Only thinking about himself when it's literally the complete opposite. Exactly, it's literally the exact opposite. And here's the thing. It doesn't matter if you go back and correct your takes. It doesn't matter if you go back and correct your like mistakes. When news first spreads, people don't care about what's correct. People care about what they first saw and heard and will just use that as just facts, right? That's why like misinformation and just starting drama, just starting random misinformation about different content creators or different shit is so just like vile because people don't really care about what the truth is. They only care about what they first heard and they go off of that. Majority of people are not gonna go back and rewatch this episode. The majority of people thought that this episode was just filler bullshit because they cannot appreciate true fucking art. They weren't, they're not gonna go back, bro. Then again, the majority of people probably don't have the reading comprehension or like the attention span to really nitpick on these different lines. So it never really made it into their brains. So in a roundabout way, because the average monkey watching this is so stupid, this is actually not an issue for them, I would hope. I was worried about exactly that happening too. I'm mainly excited for autosave's reaction, autosave mentioned. So it's some basic good to control before blah blah blah. They should be a quick fix. I'm the guy who translated ReZero for Muse Asia. Again, I don't have Muse Asia here unless we use a VPN. If possible, could you scrutinize mine? Thank you, Mr. Robert Roy Derasarna, JP to EN translator. Doing God's work. You were doing God's work? Yeah, thank you, Jared, for this. Really nice work. I would include a Kitty Mancer. Yeah, it's Lolly Mancer. Instead, it's called Little Girl User or Kitty Mancer. It's, it's like so stupid. What is Crunchyroll thinking? Like, oh, the word Lolly is like 
Subaru. So we're going to call Subaru a little kid user, which honestly sounds even more weird to me. I mean, they got they got to be abusing AI. For sure they are, right? Like like because of the context of like, you know, there's a talk where like conversations are happening and if like there's like different nuances in Japanese and like a subject not being apparently directly like mentioned, it would require an uh, like the translator to be very engaged with the content to know that the context of the dialogue and be able to properly translate. But like they're just using Google Translate, bro. They're just using Google Translate. They're just using fucking ChatGPT. Localizers. None of this was localization issues. I wonder if the little kid user is a localization issue, though. In fact, because they didn't localize enough, we had literal translations of idioms, which makes no sense in English. Like, it makes my ears hurt. Yeah, exactly. It's painful to hear, right? Painful to true. It's just plain good old faith in JP translation mistakes. I do wish... I'm still going to rag on them, though. <laughs> D1 hater. I don't care if it's not a localizer issue. I'm still going to hate on fucking localizers. I do wish they had better translations. Yeah, me too. And that's pretty much it. The pirate one I had one month prior had less errors. That's what happens, man. Because, again, the pirate version are more, like, love and passion poured into it. The pirates are big fans of ReZero. The person translating this probably has so many different deadlines and different deliverables to deliver. So, you know, they're already not even engaged. This is the wrong person to be doing a task like this. They treat this as a fucking job and that's what you're going to get. It is what it is. Guys, please go give Mr. Jireku, Jerek, I don't know how to say his name. Here's his Twitter link. That's his status. Go give it a like. Go give him a follow if you'd like. Thank you for the update on the stuff that was missing. I think that this is the most heinous one. This one was the most heinous one where it's Subaru being selfless by, you know, he is acting out on behalf of the other people. And, and that's what Julius also said, right? He's not being mad at himself and he's not saying like, oh, woe is me. He's saying woe is others. And the other side is the whole direction of the Austria family. And it's about how the kingdom views the Sword Saint family, not right? That's it from me. See you next time.